Hello, I'm Amber Uper, and this is a model kit review, or uh, as like some people like to call it, an unboxing video. And as you can see, I have in front of me the Star Trek Klingon Bird of Prey, uh, as uh, seen in the movie Generations. Uh, this is a eh, it's a vintage kit. I mean, it came out what the 90s. 80s, 90s, I'm, I'm guessing. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you can see just how mangled the box is, but uh, this is a kit that I got uh, off eBay. And uh, it, the box is rough. It's not torn or anything, but it's rough. It's, you know, storage squash. So, um, anyway, let's take a look at it. This is a... Uh, this is a 1650 scale kit, according to the box, according to AMT. So let's take a look and see what's in it. Let's get the top out of the way, put it off to the side. All right, so there's what we have in the kit. We have a bag full of parts. Uh, let's see, that's the instructions. So we'll put the bag full of parts there, the instructions, a couple of uh, clear plastic pieces. So uh, you got the, that goes on the back end of it, and this is the, for the uh, torpedo tube, the photon torpedo tube. And let's see, back in the day they used to always send you these cards. This is a magazine subscription from, I don't even know if that magazine exists anymore. And then uh, the official Star Trek fan club thing, which uh, is always fun. And then uh, the last thing in the box, decals. Now you can see by the decals, they're pretty old. They're pretty yellowed out. Um, they may still be good. I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, uh, decals of this vintage. So, uh, but there it is. So let's take a look. Um, how about I move this box out of the way and we'll take a look at the uh, instructions first. And here's your instructions. Let's see. You know, I can't get it all in the, uh, in the picture, but uh, we'll do what we can. Uh, so here you have your basic description of, the, of uh, what the model represents and then your important read it first stuff. Um, you know, about being careful with the modeling tools and all that stuff. So, here's the back. Alright, let's take a look. We'll open it up here. And I'll make sure I get something in the screen. So, here we are with uh, your assembly instructions. Apparently, you start with the, uh, the guns. and uh, Let's see. They call this the radiators. And... We know it's not radiators. Um, so that's step two, step three, the wings, if you want to call them wings. And then that shows, you know, more assembly here. And then we get on to the body. Let's see here. I think you can see most of the body now. It's wrinkled all up here. Um, shows you uh, some uh, painting instructions here, where to put what. Um, gives you the colors. It's interesting. Light ghost gray, green zinc chromate, uh, sack bomber green, gloss red. Uh, let's see, flat white. And there's a variety of colors there. Um, and up on the top here, it shows you those all those colors that you're going to need according to this. Um, tells you what they are. So... And then uh, we go to the next phase, and it's this. And show you putting the two halves of the body together. And uh, one way to paint the, um, the photon torpedo uh, tube. And let's see. And uh, putting the rest of the body together here. Um, this stuff down here, putting the rest of the parts on the body. Um, so then we go to the last step, which is finishing the body assembly here. And uh, I think it shows you, 
Eh, somewhere on here it shows you the de where the decals go. So, and then a uh, bit of instructions for how to put the decals on. Oh, here it is, trademark 1995. So this kit came out um, 1995. So that's the uh, that's the instructions. They're not bad. They're pretty good. Uh, pretty good instructions. And uh, let's see. Uh, it's hard to see them that way uh, because of the background. So we'll put that yellow card. Let's see if that works any better. Can you see that? Oh yeah, I can see that better. So this is the back end, the um, uh, impulse drive, and the photon torpedo tube thing. So let's take a look at what's in the bag. Let's move that. Gotta open the bag here. I'm just gonna rip it open. There we go. Oh, let's see. Let's just dump all the parts out. Obviously, I had not taken the parts out previous to this. So, here we go. Now, there's two um, two sprues of the same parts in different configurations, basically. This is with the wings um, down for uh, combat position. I don't know. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, yeah, you can see that. And then, um, and you can see these are, are different from these. And these are with the wings folded uh, straight out. I don't think this has the uh, capability for having the wings um, up in the landing position. So there's those parts. And let's see, here is the bottom of the body and the, uh, the, the guns out at the end of the wings. Uh, they're not wings, but that's what I'm going to call them. Um, so there's the, those parts. And these, I believe, go in the middle, uh, between, sandwiched into the body somewhere here. Um, I've built the 1 1000 scale kit, and it's it's pretty close to the same. It's got, it's got a, sl you know, a couple different parts in it uh, that are not as detailed because it's smaller. But, uh, so there's that. And then here's the... Uh, Here's the top of the body, and these are the uh, pieces that go sandwiched in between the top and the bottom of the body. And here's a couple more pieces that go in this area up underneath here. Um, that's the bottom of the uh, of the head where the torpedo tube goes in. You can see that hole right there for the torpedo tube, and then uh, these things that go on the back on the sides of the. Uh, upper structure up here. Uh, let's see, what else we got? These are the uh, parts that go... Uh, let's, let's just take this off, it's falling off. Anyway. These parts, I do believe they go I don't know, somewhere out in there. Maybe they go there. <laughs> I'd have to look at the instructions. Here's your um, stand that comes with the kit, interestingly enough. And then we have the wings, the main part of the wings. Let's see, I don't know what that part is. Uh, maybe it's just a tab um, for assembly. But so here's your wings and the, um, the various pieces go on this up on here. Um, I believe these are the top wing, the top of the wings, and these are the bottoms of the wings, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's take a look at the instructions, and we'll get a good idea here. All right. So yeah, there's there's the wings. All right. So here's a wing. So this is the top, and this is the bottom, and you can see. All the parts go on here and here, and then the the gun assemblies go out on the end of the wing here once it's put together. So, and this little this little thing right here, that's that right there. So that goes on in there, and I think that just helps to hold the the wing on to the body, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see, here's your body assembly. Yeah, see, here's these things. 
um, these things right here. And they're going on, they're showing them going on here. Oh. This, I do believe they go on like that. Yeah. And then the uh, so-called radiators go in here. Okay, that makes sense. So, there it is. There's all the parts for the kit. I mean, you know, you can see that it's, uh, it ends up being a pretty good size kit if you look at it. Uh, let's do it in the middle of the field of view here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a pretty good size kit. Can't complain. It'll be interesting to build it. It'll be even more interesting to paint it. You can't leave it like this, you know, you gotta paint it. <laughs> so, it'll get an overall spray of green and then all of the details on on here, on the bottom side, you've got that rust red color that, that um, goes on all of these panels. And the upper panels, there's certain colors that go on them too, but I, I'm not really sure what they are now. I'd have to look at different pictures and stuff to, to see. And it's, it's kind of a bizarre pattern, but uh, that doesn't mean you have to paint it that way. But anyway, there you are. Um, that is the 1 650th scale Klingon Bird of Prey as made by AMT Ertl. So, that's my video. Thanks for watching.